Hey yo, football fans, it's another the great year. Yep. Fantasy football fiends, grab your beer. Uh. Giving you the best draft tips for all your picks. Starts and sits to the wave of wide fix. Woo. For my grabs galore, the stats that's hardcore. Triple F does it all, have y'all screaming more. So sit back, relax, let the experts prevail. JT Magnum, Siggy Guns never fail. What's up, fantasy football fans? My name is JT Magnum. And welcome to the Sleepers edition of Fantasy Football Fiends. Uh, this is week six. And whew, I'm, I'm going to get into it because this is exciting. I wanted to do a lot of shows for you guys this week. And um, so far, we've done a waiver wire on Monday. We've done um, Stardom Sidem on Tuesday. Uh, we do Sleepers today on Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Draft Kings um, Draft Tips. Uh, for the week for week six as well and i'm gonna keep that rolling i'm gonna keep that going um keep that flow going to get the get a little bit more content out for you guys a little bit more videos um there's also the website of course magnusportsnetwork.com for you to check out um i post the same things there as well um and uh don't forget um to join our DraftKings league uh we're doing free contests now for um for fantasy football because a lot of people weren't joining the, the money leagues I, I i'm aware that some people just don't have money they don't want to deposit money into DraftKings, so it's okay um play the free contest at zero dollars just for bragging rights i'm actually going to label it bragging rights so feel free to jump into that and play and play against uh siggy and i in that but let's get into these sleepers uh for the quarterbacks this week uh for sleepers i have uh brock osweiler travel trevor simeon and marcus mariota and i'll talk about brock osweiler uh, Brock Osweiler going against that Indianapolis Colt defense that is just surrendering tons of points against the pass. And the reason why is because, like we've said before, their cornerbacks are just hurting. Um, I'm still not sure when their cornerbacks are coming back. You might want to monitor that, but they're giving up a lot of yards passing. And the reason they're giving up the yards passing is just because of the simple fact that their corners are banged up. Um, the defense is a little banged up, and they just don't have money to spend on defense because of all that money they're paying Andrew Luck. So. They haven't been able to really revamp that defense yet enough, and uh, they just don't have. They lack depth. They lack depth and de lack depth in that area. And I think this is the week that Brock Osweiler really shines with DeAndre Hopkins and Will Fuller. And I think that offense is going to come um, to play definitely uh, versus Indy at home. So uh, I really like I really like Brock Osweiler this week to be a nice sleeper. Uh, running backs: We got Theo Riddick, DeAndre Washington, and Christine Michael. And uh, or Kristen Michael, I never know which one it is, Christine or Kristen. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, uh, I'll talk about DeAndre Washington going against KC. Um, Latavius Murray, he's been told that you know when he comes back, that you know of course the Raiders are going to welcome him with open arms. You know when he's done with his injury or whatever. But that's a weird thing when a coach says that, and that just more or less gives you more of a nod that DeAndre Washington's probably going to end up being the man there. Uh, Latavius Murray hasn't been doing the best on um, the last few games. He, 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 he gets you a touchdown, but he gets like 30 yards rushing. And it's like really frustrating. So it's not a lot of points. And DeAndre Washington seems to be coming of age a little bit right now for the Raiders, um, being that he's a rookie. I mean, he has fumbled a couple times, but um, going against a KC defense that's given up a lot of yards, I think it's like 120-something yards a game they're giving up on the ground. Uh, the Raiders do like to run the ball and like to pass to running backs. Um, now Jalen Richard is the other guy, Jalen Richard or Jalen Richard is the other guy that gets, um, catches as well, but Deandre Washington is the main back. He's the starter. So let's see what happens, uh, with him. I really like him to get a hundred yards this week against that KC defense, um, with Jalen Richard doing most of the bulk of the catching. So if you're in a PPR league, you might want to pick up Jalen Richard, um, cause he could be a sleeper in that for PPR, um, wide receivers, <clears throat> I have uh, Robert Woods, Tyler Lockett, and Chris Hogan, and I'll talk about Robert Woods going against the 49ers who have given up not so many yards against the pass. I mean, they're I think they're number 10 in the league against the pass, but the reason is because teams are just running the ball against them. They're number, 30 for, they're number 31, I believe, against the run, and teams are running the ball against them, but they are... They are ranked um, 
close to last in the NFL in passes allowed for touchdowns. The 49ers do give up touchdowns uh, in the red zone passing. So despite the fact that they don't, they're not giving up a lot of yards passing, teams are running the ball down the Niners' throats, and then when they get towards the red zone, they're throwing it in for touchdowns. So that doesn't bold well for the 49ers. Uh, it bolds well for Robert Woods. I think he's been a solid receiver since Sammy Watkins has been gone. Um, didn't have a great week last week, but... He was open on a couple occasions, just Tyrod Taylor overthrew him. But I think in this occasion, I think that he's going to do well against the 49ers secondary. So, so look, especially at home, uh, the Bills play very well at home. I think Tyrod's going to have a pretty good game against the 49ers, and I think he, I think Robert Woods is going to benefit from that. Uh, tight ends, I have Gary Barnage, Zach Miller, and Zach Ertz, and I'll talk about Gary Barnage. He finally. Finally got some targets last week. Finally got some points. Um, not a lot of points, but he got some points. And Gary Barnard is starting to finally get involved more in that offense. I don't know if it's the Cody Kessler thing or what's going on, but he's finally being involved in an offense. Cody Kessler is going to start again. Not sure how long he'll hang around because the Browns quarterbacks seem to be falling like flies. So I don't know what's going to happen there, but. Um, Gary Barnard is a pretty good start this week against Tennessee. It might get a like a sleeper good because Tennessee does have a pretty good, decent secondary, but it, they don't have great coverage. Linebackers don't have great coverage safety. So I, I want to see if Gary Barnard actually gets finally has a breakout game. Um, could be a sleeper breakout game for you guys. Uh, defenses, Tennessee, New York Giants and New England. And I'll talk about Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee is quietly, quietly, quietly uh, scoring a lot of points on defense. Um, I actually picked them up last week for a plug-in uh, because I had Seattle on a bye, and uh, they scored me 11 points. I was uh, in shock, I, or believe that was on DraftKings, but they scored me pretty decent points on my draft on my draft league. I was able to win, and and uh, and and um, I was able to actually get some that the the uh, the um, the one that I had them in DraftKings, I was actually able to get some money on that one also as well. I don't remember what number I placed, but because uh, I play all these crazy leagues, like sometimes there's like 70,000 people in one league and I'll place like 400th or something like that and get money. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but um, that's what makes fantasy, I mean, so cool because you can play things like that and, you know, and just get, you know, seriously, you know, get some cash and you place like 400th. So I really liked, I really like stuff like that. One time I think I placed um, third out of uh, 30,000 or something like that. That's the highest I think I've ever gone is third. Um, I haven't won yet one of these DraftKings, like actually been first place, but the highest I went was third, and that was uh, the week before last week. So that was pretty cool. But Tennessee's defense is playing very well, and they're playing Cleveland. Cleveland's been an up on offense. Um, they've been playing okay, depends on who they play, but with Tennessee's defense being so solid and, they're, and, they're, and the way they run the ball and, and basically just grind the clock out with Mariota and DeMarco Murray and Derrick Henry, I don't see Cleveland having the ball for long. I see Tennessee controlling this game on defense and controlling the clock, and I really like Tennessee to maybe get a, a pick or two. Or even they have they have a good special teams unit that can also you know take it to the house on a punt return and things like that. So I really like Tennessee's Tennessee's a sneaky defense to play this week, especially in DraftKings. Especially they're available in probably every league. You can probably pick them up for a plug in, um, and sub them in for somebody that's on a buy. Like this week, I think I had Minnesota defense on a buy um, <clears throat> from one of my leagues, and Tennessee is a, is a great plug in for that. I think I am. I think I am actually trying to pick up Tennessee to pl to plug in because uh, Minnesota's on a buy. So I'm trying to pick up somebody or pick up them, drop somebody off the team, and then hold on to Minnesota and then and then play Tennessee one week and then go back to Minnesota. So that does it for the sleeper show, guys. Let me know if you if I left anybody out in the comment section. Of course, I left people out that are sleepers that people are gonna think they're sleepers. But uh, let me know what you think or what your sleepers are. Or if you have any questions, uh, just stick them in the comment section. I'll gladly answer them. Uh, once again, um, try to keep it clean in the comment section. I police it. <laughs> um, you know, be nice, be polite to each other, answer each other's questions, and hopefully I can get to them the best I can. I mean, now I'm starting to like four videos now to get to with questions galore in all of them. So I, I try my best to get to them all. But if I can't, I apologize. Um, also hit me up on Twitter at JT underscore Magnum 816 or at Siggy V for Siggy if you want to ask him some questions. Um, if I can't get to him, Siggy probably can. So uh, basically message us both and we'll try to answer the question the best we can.
it's probably the best way because at least Twitter, I can get the message on my phone and I can be able to, you know, um, you know, log in real quickly and answer the best, you know, answer it quickly, hopefully, and move on with the day. <laughs> All right. So thanks, guys, for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you next week. All right. So for JT Magnum and Fantasy Football Fiends, I'm out. Peace, y'all.